In computer science, A is a computer algorithm that is widely used in pathfinding and graph traversal, the process of plotting an efficiently traversable path between points, called nodes. Noted for its performance and accuracy, it enjoys widespread use. However, in practical travel routing systems, it is generally outperformed by algorithms which can pre-process the graph to attain better performance, although other workers found A to be superior to other approaches. Peter Hart, Nils Nielsen and Bertram Raphael of Stanford Research Institute first described the algorithm in 1968. It is an extension of EDSG or Dijkstra's 1959 algorithm. A achieves better time performance by using heuristics. Description A uses a best first search and finds a least cost path from a given initial node to one goal node. As A traverses the graph, it follows a path of the lowest expected total cost or distance, keeping a sorted priority queue of alternate path segments along the way. It uses a knowledge plus heuristic cost function of node X to determine the order in which the search visits nodes in the tree. The cost function is a sum of two functions, the past path cost function, which is the known distance from the starting node to the current node X, a future path cost function, which is an admissible heuristic estimate of the distance from X to the goal. The H, X, part of the F, X, function must be an admissible heuristic. That is, it must not overestimate the distance to the goal. Thus, for an application like routing, H, X, might represent the straight line distance to the goal, since that is physically the smallest possible distance between any two points or nodes. If the heuristic H satisfies the additional condition for every edge of the graph, then H is called monotone, or consistent. In such a case, A can be implemented more efficiently a euro roughly speaking, no node needs to be processed more than own C euro, and A is equivalent to running Dijkstra's algorithm with the reduced cost D, X, Y, A equals D, X, Y, plus H, Y, H, X. History In 1968 Nils Nielsen suggested a heuristic approach for Shaky the robot to navigate through a room containing obstacles. This pathfinding algorithm, called A1, was a faster version of the then best-known formal approach, Dijkstra's algorithm, for finding shortest paths in graphs. Bertram Raphael suggested some significant improvements upon this algorithm, calling the revised version A2. Then Peter E. Hart introduced an argument that established A2, with only minor changes, to be the best possible algorithm for finding shortest paths. Hart Nielsen and Raphael then jointly developed a proof that the revised A2 algorithm was optimal for finding shortest paths under certain well-defined conditions. Process Like all informed search algorithms, it first searches the routes that appear to be most likely to lead towards the goal. What sets A apart from a greedy best first search is that it also takes the distance already traveled into account. The G, X, part of the heuristic is the cost from the starting point not simply the local cost from the previously expanded node. Starting with the initial node, it maintains a priority queue of nodes to be traversed, known as the open set or fringe. The lower f, x, for a given node x, the higher its priority. At each step of the algorithm, the node with the lowest f, x, value is removed from the queue, the f and g values of its neighbors are updated accordingly, and these neighbors are added to the queue. The algorithm continues until a goal node has a lower f value than any node in the queue. The f value of the goal is then the length of the shortest path, since h at the goal is zero in an admissible heuristic. The algorithm described so far gives us only the length of the shortest path. To find the actual sequence of steps, the algorithm can be easily revised so that each node on the path keeps track of its predecessor. After this algorithm is run, the ending node will point to its predecessor, and so on, until some node's predecessor is the start node. Additionally, if the heuristic is monotonic, a closed set of nodes already traversed may be used to make the search more efficient. Pseudocode The following pseudocode describes the algorithm. Remark The above pseudocode assumes that the heuristic function is monotonic, which is a frequent case in many practical problems such as the shortest distance path in road networks. 
However, if the assumption is not true, nodes in the closed set may be rediscovered and their cost improved. In other words, the closed set can be omitted if a solution is guaranteed to exist, or if the algorithm is adapted so that new nodes are added to the open set only if they have a lower F value than at any previous iteration. Example An example of an A star algorithm in action where nodes are cities connected with roads and H, X, is the straight line distance to target point. Key Green start. Blue Goal. Orange Visited Properties like breadth first search, A is complete and will always find a solution if one exists. If the heuristic function H is admissible, meaning that it never overestimates the actual minimal cost of reaching the goal, then A is itself admissible if we do not use a closed set. If a closed set is used, then H must also be monotonic for A to be optimal. This means that for any pair of adjacent nodes X and Y, where D, X, Y, denotes the length of the edge between them, we must have. This ensures that for any path x from the initial node to x, where L is a function that denotes the length of a path, and Y is the path x extended to include Y. In other words, it is impossible to decrease by extending a path to include a neighboring node. Monotonicity implies admissibility when the heuristic estimate at any goal node itself is zero since be a shortest path from any node after the nearest goal g. A is also optimally efficient for any heuristic h, meaning that no optimal algorithm employing the same heuristic will expand fewer nodes than a, except when there are multiple partial solutions where h exactly predicts the cost of the optimal path. Even in this case, for each graph there exists some order of breaking ties in the priority queue such that a examines the fewest possible nodes. Special cases. Dijkstra's algorithm, as another example of a uniform cost search algorithm, can be viewed as a special case of A where H, X, equals zero for all X. General depth first search can be implemented using the A by considering that there is a global counter C initialized with a very large value. Every time we process a node we assign C to all of its newly discovered neighbors. After each single assignment, we decrease the counter C by one. Thus the earlier a node is discovered, the higher its h, x, value. It should be noted, however, that both Dijkstra's algorithm and depth first search can be implemented more efficiently without including a h, x, value at each node. Implementation details There are a number of simple optimizations or implementation details that can significantly affect the performance of an a implementation. The first detail to note is that the way the priority queue handles ties can have a significant effect on performance in some situations. If ties are broken so the queue behaves in an LIFO manner, A will behave like depth first search among equal cost paths. When a path is required at the end of the search, it is common to keep with each node a reference to that node's parent. At the end of the search these references can be used to recover the optimal path. If these references are being kept then it can be important that the same node doesn't appear in the priority queue more than once. A standard approach here is to check if a node about to be added already appears in the priority queue. If it does, then the priority and parent pointers are changed to correspond to the lower cost path. When finding a node in a queue to perform this check, many standard implementations of a minute heap require o, n, time. Augmenting the heap with a hash table can reduce this to constant time. Admissibility and optimality, A is admissible and considers fewer nodes than any other admissible search algorithm with the same heuristic. This is because A uses an optimistic estimate of the cost of a path through every node that it considers a euro optimistic in that the true cost of a path through that node to the goal will be at least as great as the estimate. But, critically, as far as A knows, that optimistic estimate might be achievable. Here is the main idea of the proof, when A terminates its search, it has found a path whose actual cost is lower than the estimated cost of any path through any open node. But since those estimates are optimistic, A can safely ignore those nodes. In other words, A will never overlook the possibility of a lower cost path and so is admissible. Suppose now that some other search algorithm B terminates its search with a path whose actual cost is not less than the estimated cost of a path through some open node. 
based on the heuristic information it has, algorithm B cannot rule out the possibility that a path through that node has a lower cost. So while B might consider fewer nodes than A, it cannot be admissible. Accordingly, A considers the fewest nodes of any admissible search algorithm. This is only true if both, A uses an admissible heuristic. Otherwise, A is not guaranteed to expand fewer nodes than another search algorithm with the same heuristic. A solves only one search problem rather than a series of similar search problems. Otherwise, a is not guaranteed to expand fewer nodes than incremental heuristic search algorithms. Bounded relaxation, while the admissibility criterion guarantees an optimal solution path, it also means that A must examine all equally meritorious paths to find the optimal path. It is possible to speed up the search at the expense of optimality by relaxing the admissibility criterion. Oftentimes we want to bound this relaxation, so that we can guarantee that the solution path is no worse than times the optimal solution path. This new guarantee is referred to as I-micron admissible. There are a number of I-micron admissible algorithms, weighted A. If HA, N, is an admissible heuristic function, in the weighted version of the A search one uses HW, N, equals I-micron HA, N, I-micron 1 is the heuristic function, and perform the A search as usual. The path hence found by the search algorithm can have a cost of at most i micron times that of the least cost path in the graph. Static weighting uses the cost function f, n, equals g, n, plus h, n. Dynamic weighting uses the cost function f, n, equals g, n, plus h, n, where, and where d, n, is the depth of the search and n is the anticipated length of the solution path. Sample dynamic weighting uses sampling of nodes to better estimate and dv as the heuristic error, uses two heuristic functions. The first is the focal list, which is used to select candidate nodes, and the second hf is used to select the most promising node from the focal list. Imicron selects nodes with the function af, n, plus bhf, n, where a and b are constants. If no nodes can be selected, the algorithm will backtrack with the function cf, n, plus dhf, n, where c and d are constants. Alpha attempts to promote depth-first exploitation by preferring recently expanded nodes. Alpha uses the cost function phi plus or minus, n, equals f, n, where, where i, and i are constants with, i euro, n, is the parent of n, and a plus or minus is the most recently expanded node. Complexity, the time complexity of A depends on the heuristic. In the worst case, the number of nodes expanded is exponential in the length of the solution, but it is polynomial when the search space is a tree, there is a single goal state, and the heuristic function H meets the following condition. Where H is the optimal heuristic, the exact cost to get from X to the goal. In other words, the error of h will not grow faster than the logarithm of the perfect heuristic h that returns the true distance from x to the goal. Applications A is commonly used for the common pathfinding problem in applications such as games, but was originally designed as a general graph traversal algorithm. It finds applications to diverse problems, including the problem of parsing using stochastic grammars in NLP. Variants of A, D, field D, IDA, fringe, fringe saving A, generalized adaptive A, lifelong planning A, simplified memory bounded A, jump point search, theta, A can be adapted to a bidirectional search algorithm. Special care needs to be taken for the stopping criterion. References. Further reading, Hart, P. E. Nielsen, N. J. Raphael. Be correction to a formal basis for the heuristic determination of minimum cost paths. Sigart Newsletter 37, 28 Euro 29 DOI, 10.1145 slash 1056777.1056779 Nielsen, NJ Principles of Artificial Intelligence. Palo Alto, California, Tioga Publishing Company. ISBN A0-935382-01-1 External links, A Pathfinding for Beginners, 
A with jump point search, clear visual A explanation, with advice and thoughts on path finding, variation on A called hierarchical path finding A, A algorithm tutorial, A path finding and objective C, Dyna H, an A similar heuristic approach in reinforcement learning.